It can look simple on the surface, but it's interesting to understand the different parts of the brain that, I guess, kickstart your dog's stress response. So the first is the amygdala, which is kind of like the alarm system that detects threats. The next being the hippocampus, which is the memory bank. So that remembers past stressful situations in an effort to streamline an emergency response in the body if it's necessary to do so. And the prefrontal cortex, quite sort of complicated sounding, that's the brake or the regulator that slows things down if maybe the stress response isn't warranted. Now in healthy dogs, that system sort of goes through the cycle quite normally and the, the prefrontal cortex slows things down. But in anxious dogs or dogs with severe anxiety, what happens is that the prefrontal cortex or the brake kind of gets skipped out altogether. So the alarm system, the, the amygdala, triggers a, an emergency response. The hippocampus remembers that this was really stressful last time and maybe we need to respond quickly. And so those two kind of just go in a loop and miss out the break altogether. Not very good.